The journey of a thousand miles starts with just one step. This video, I hope, will be the first step of a very fulfilling and educational journey. Welcome to iDay Friday. Remember, stand out, subscribe. First off, I want to give a warm welcome to all the new subscribers who've joined this channel. And if you're new to this channel and you're, you enjoy these videos, then don't forget to subscribe and share these videos with others. It helps the channel and you'll be the first to know when new videos come out. So when I first started making these videos, I wanted to do a channel of advice for artists to help them improve their art. But then I noticed as I started to make more videos that they were skewing more to the amateur artist. I mean, people who may not be that interested in making art of vocation, but they are interested in art and they want to give a go at making their own. So before I go any further, I'm going to need to take some time to discuss the differences between amateur versus professional. And I have to admit to me, this topic is a little bit scary. It's because I realized that some of the things that I'm going to say, if they're taken out of context, can be horribly misconstrued. And I don't want that to happen. You see, I feel that there are some serious misconceptions on this whole topic of amateur versus professional, even among professional artists who have been doing this for a long time. I mean, just using the word amateur is going to open up a whole can of worms. This word amateur carries with it these connotations of little to no experience, no passion, a low quality of art. In fact, it carries these connotations to such a degree that calling someone an amateur in many cases is considered an insult. And before we go any farther, I have to say that none of that is true. I know a lot of amateur artists that have tons of experience, who love what they do, who study, who have a lot of knowledge about their art. And they put out art just as good and in sometimes better than some professional artists. I think the problem is, is that not a lot of people really truly know what the difference is between an amateur and a professional. And that is what the next few videos are going to be about. So this video is the opening statement for what the topics I'm going to be covering in these next few videos. And this opening statement is that there are reasons to be an amateur artist and there are reasons to be a professional artist. And whether you choose to be an amateur or professional says nothing about the art that you produce. And what you also need to understand is that terms like amateur and professional only mean something inside of our artist circle. Those who observe art have no concept of an amateur artist. They don't think in terms of amateur singer or amateur writer or amateur painter. Magician Harlan Tarbell knew this well. And when he put out his definitive work on magic, the Tarbell Course in Magic, and made it available for amateurs, and professional magicians asked him why he did it. He said it was because when someone sees a magician, they don't differentiate between a professional magician and an amateur magician. And that amateur magicians need to hold themselves to a standard equal to a professional. And I have to say I agree. So in these next few videos, I want to take some time to really investigate the mindset of the amateur versus the professional, what the differences actually are between the two, and what I feel is the one misconception that absolutely hurts us as artists, amateur and professional. And I think the first thing that we need to do to get started on that is to kind of step away from this amateur versus professional and look at it this way, hobby versus business. Again, Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you're as excited as I am about the topics I'm going to be covering in these future videos. If you're new to this channel and you want to see more, then click the subscribe button. It's right over there. And while you're here, you might as well check out some of my other videos, which you can do by clicking this box right down here. So until next time, this is Brian J. Hatcher reminding you to keep dreaming with your eyes open.